The long hours on the job have become the norm for a lot of us, but did you know that overtime isn't just for hourly workers? Better Nashville's Jennifer Heron is getting some advice from our legal experts. A lawsuit settlement involving a popular photography company has spotlighted a growing problem of overworked employees. Apparently, according to the case, they were working off the clock, and that was violating their overtime. They should have been getting to work more than 40 hours a week, and they weren't getting paid for it. The, the case was settled, I believe, for $3 million. Since the downturn in the economy, our office has seen a lot more overtime cases. And I think what's happened are people lose their jobs and they had problems that they just wouldn't complain about when they had their jobs. And once they've lost that, if they felt that they were entitled to overtime or if they were having problems with the paycheck, they call uh, the lawyer. Uh, or they didn't want to complain about it because everybody needs their job. Now they, I guess, have nothing to risk and they feel like they should get what they are entitled to. Overtime owed isn't just for time clock employees. They will be asked to do work off the clock. Now sometimes that is a punch out. Nowadays I think very few places have the actual uh, time cards that you punch in and out. It's mainly computer or sign in or things like that. But we have had several cases where people are required to continue to work after they've punched out or to attend, for instance, a meeting in the morning that they aren't allowed to clock in for. Uh, and when you look at that on an individual basis, it may just be a few dollars a week. But if you have a company and they're doing that to 50, 100, 1,000 employees, it can be millions of dollars or, or a significant sum. The most common type of overtime case that we have is where a person is just placed on a salary and works more. 40 hours a week. One group of workers in particular may be in store for some extra income. One of the uh, most interesting changes that has come down right now and all the circuit courts are dealing with it is we believe that pharmaceutical sales reps are entitled to overtime. For years they've been classified as outside sales and outside sales people aren't entitled to overtime. Well, the court has said these folks don't sell anything. They meet with the doctors and they tell them about the drugs, but the only person who can sell a drug is a doctor. Uh, are prescribed a, a medication. So some of the courts are coming back and saying because of that, uh, these folks are entitled to overtime. And they are entitled to a significant amount of overtime because they work crazy hours. Higgins says contacting an attorney is not selfish, but actually creating a better workplace. As part of these lawsuits, we have them, it's going to change the behavior. That's that is as big as thing as anything is you're going to have somebody if they're forced to work off the clock or the company is shaving hours and you bring that to the court and you resolve the case part of the resolution is don't do that anymore you know from now on you're going to pay people for the work and most important employees should know if you do complain the law protects you if you get terminated for complaining about not getting a proper wage you can have a call a retaliation case and you have a separate case for being fired because of that. Higgins, Himmelberg, and Piliponis PLLC is located at 116 3rd Avenue South in Nashville. Give them a call at 615-353-0930. For more information, visit their website, hhpfirm.com. We've got a link to it on our website. That's betternashville.com.